Hello. In this video, I'm going to concentrate on giving feedback to students. So once students have responded within your topic, you can click on the video and obviously watch the video right here. Note that you do have some options for playing the video a little bit quicker. If you have a lot of students to grade, you might choose 1.5 speed if you can pay attention to that. But this feedback tab is what I'm gonna concentrate on in this video. The first thing that you can do is you can actually leave video feedback for the student. And this video feedback will just be available to the student you are responding to. So that would be a way of sending a private video message back to the student. You can also use a grading rubric if you want. By default, there's just the ideas and the performance out of five points, but you can change your rubric to your liking by just clicking edit the rubric using custom feedback. And then you can add criteria as you would like. If you have something you've added that you want to adjust, just hit the pencil and you can delete it or edit it. You choose a minimum score and a maximum score. So the default was out of five, but you can make it out of 10, or I chose three for this particular assignment. And you can continue to add criteria just like that. You choose the minimum and the maximum. You add a criteria title and description. So if I want to use my custom feedback, I would just check which ones I actually want to use for this project. And so if I want to use all of them, I would update the topic. And now when I go back in, you'll see that I have all these different categories and, and I had chosen just three points for this one, but for this criteria, I actually am grading out of 10 points. So you can adjust the amount of points and also those categories as you would like. That will be sent to the student. And then you can also just type comments and this will be private just to them, anything that you type here. And then I just use the email feedback button right here and it emails them directly because they had signed in using their email. It will email them directly and that's what I use. So that's really it. The video feedback, the grading rubric that you can adjust and also typing in comments. And then I always use that email feedback and it goes directly to the student. That's it for this video. I hope this helped. Bye.